Russia and the United States have great influence in global politics and military. Both countries are superpowers, great at developing, producing their own military equipment and even exporting to other countries. So, in this video, we will compare the country's main battle tanks, United States M1 Abrams tank and Russia with its T-14 Armada. Which main battle tank has better capability? Let's find out more details about these main battle tanks. T-14 Armada is a new generation main battle tank MBT. Developed by Russian company Yurovanzovod. It was officially unveiled for the first time during the Moscow Victory Day Parade in May 2015. This new combat vehicle is equipped with digitalist equipment, unmanned turret and isolated armored capsule for the crew. The Russian Armed Forces earlier planned to induct 2,300 Armada main battle tanks during 2015 and 2020. However, the mass production of the tanks was delayed due to high costs of the new combat vehicles. The vehicles underwent field testing in Syria. M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank. The first M1 Abrams battle tanks were delivered to the U.S. Army in 1980. A total of 3,273 M1 tanks were produced for the U.S. Army, 4,796 M1A1 tanks were built for the U.S. Army. Designed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems. Conceived for modern armored ground warfare. And now one of the heaviest tanks in service, at nearly 68 short tons, almost 62 metric tons. It introduced several innovative features, including a multi-fuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, a computer fire control system, separate ammunition storage, in a blowout compartment. And NBC protection for crew safety. So, which tank has more features? Let's take a look at Russia's T-14 Armada first. The T-14 Armada is based on a modular combat platform, which can also serve as a basis for other armored variants, such as Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, and Armored Personnel Carrier APC. The hull is divided into three compartments. A crew cab at forward, an unmanned remote-controlled turret in the center, and a power pack at the rear. The driver sits in the left, gunner in the middle, and commander in the right inside a special armored capsule. Entry and exit are provided through three hatches in front of the hull. The roof of the turret houses a meteorological mast, satellite communications, global navigation satellite system, GLONASS, data link and radio communications antennae. The tank measures 10.8 meter long, 3.5 meter wide and 3.3 meter high and has a combat weight of 48 T. The Armada T-14 is powered by AA85 3A turbocharged diesel engine, which generates a power output of 1,200 horsepower. 
The engine is coupled to a 12-speed automatic transmission. The running gear includes seven dual rubber tired road wheels on each side. The tank can run at a maximum road speed of 90 km per hour and has a maximum cruising range of 500 km. The M1 Abrams is equipped with a 1,500 horsepower Lycoming Textron gas turbine engine. Coupled to an Allison hydrokinetic transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. Its tactical cruising range is approximately 275 miles. Despite its weight, the M1 can attain a top speed of nearly 45 miles per hour. The main armament is a 120mm smooth bore cannon which replaced the 105mm gun on the initial M1 version. It has day-night fire on the move capability which is provided by a laser rangefinder, thermal imaging night sight, optical day sight, and a digital ballistic computer. M1 Abrams and T14 Armada. It's an open question as to which is the better tank. Many experts in defense industry believes if both tanks face each other in the battlefield, the M1 Abram will comes out as the winner. The Abrams is a proven, reliable design that is still being upgraded. The forthcoming M1A3 will be somewhat lighter and more mobile. The US Army also plans to replace the 120mm M256 smoothbore gun with a lighter version. New guided projectiles might also enable the Abrams to hit targets as far away as 12,000 meters. But Russian tanks are also equipped to fire anti-tank guided missiles via their main gun, it's really a question of who sees the other first. Much of how the Armada will perform on the battlefield will depend on how much progress Russia has made in developing the tank's sensors and data networks. The tank that sees the enemy first almost always wins the fight. 